I don't know about underestimating Gary, I think they'll be looking very cautiously because they don't know me. I think even some of the players, uh, you know, when it, when it happened would uh, maybe think that way because I haven't been as close to them as lots of other people have been. Um, but it's a gradual process and it's a situation where I've got to get the players to believe and respect me, which I think is happening now anyway. Is there a chance that the ghost of Ron Saunders, after all his success, could hang over Villa Park in the same way that we're told Brian Clough's does at Derby County? Um, well, I think that depends on the situation of the club, Gary. I mean, I think that's hung over Derby because they haven't been successful. Um, I think if Villa is successful, then I don't think the ghost of Ron Saunders will hang over them. But if they are, if they're not successful, then everybody will be comparing the days of Ron Saunders when he was successful. Well, I've known you about six and a half years up here now, Tony, as the assistant to Ron Saunders when he was at Villa. Um, you've got a sort of image of as a nice guy, but football management is a sort of rough and tumble business. Do you have those qualities within you? Uh, I think those qualities, I, th I think, I think they come, Gary, when you meet the, the problems that you that you're obviously going to meet. You either you either live or die by what you do, uh, and I think a manager has got to do what he feels is right, and sometimes that is unpleasant. Um, but if it if it needs to be the unpleasant thing to do, then a manager worth his sword has got to do that. Um, I mean, I would prefer to do it the other way, but uh, if it comes to a point where it has to be done, then I think I'm capable of doing it. You could be cold and ruthless. I think so. Because it's a big job, this, isn't it? You, you're stepping in from being an assistant, a scout, looking at players, advising the manager. Mm -hmm. It's a big job. It's a big club, Gary. Um, I mean, all these things uh, were our last three home games. Uh, I mean, our director's box would probably have more managers in than, than anything else. Um, because, you know, they feel that they've got an interest in Aston Villa because it's a big club and there's lots and lots of managers that would give their right arm to manage Aston Villa Football Club. So it doesn't worry that all sorts of people are being linked with the job? I think that was uh, inevitable. Um, I think everybody was going, in fact, I'm surprised there hasn't been as much as there, there, uh, there has been. Yeah. But yeah, uh, people, names will be keep cropping up and people will be linked with the job. Um, but at the end of the day, if we win the next five matches, uh, then there's no reason why any other manager could do better than that.